daily message. I am here giving you your message for the day for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's see. Oops. When I pulled your um, card of focus, you guys got the moon. So um, you need to focus on listening to your deep intuition. Some of you could need to heal um, from some secrets that were kept from you because your bottom of the deck was then star. So we got your focus, the moon. So your deep feelings, your deep intuition, um, secrets, fears. We'll see what it all entails. All right, spirit and angels, what messages do you have for our cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? All right, setting your intentions. A good thing to do with the new moon last night. Working with your spiritual side, um, your intuition. So, the person you are dealing with has the Queen of Cups. The situation coming, or the energy coming in for you is the Six of Shields, the Six of Wands, and Rebirth. Wow. Amazing. That's great energy, guys. I love how all four of these are like the same color. Beautiful energy okay and the outcome of this situation what is cancer's outcome for the day justice and the two of shields and the energy between you and your person is the world clarified with the knight of cups and the Knight of Shields. Next card out is the Shadow, which is um, yeah, this is the Devil in some decks. Uh, so you could be dealing with somebody that you are legally bonded to. Um, okay, so your shared energy. You have the world coming to a completion of a major life cycle, especially if you're dealing with a Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio. Um, that's our fixed signs. This was a hard decision for you. Um, you really didn't know if you wanted to um, end this situation with somebody this also could be a career change because that pinnacle is jumping out to me as well so you could be changing careers completely um following your heart following what you love what's going to pay you um a lot as well but um for some of you in love this is um needing to choose between two people a earth sign or a water sign um or for some of you this is um, ending a, a life cycle within a relationship. So um, with the justice being your outcome, I do see this as a divorce. Uh, and the person that you're heading towards is in the same vibration as you are. You're both coming in as knights. One being the water sign you and then the earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay. I don't know why, I just had to take a really deep breath there, Cancer. So, you are really focusing on you. And the Moon card is, you know, the card of Cancer as well for me. It could also be a Leo because the New Moon is in Leo. But you're focusing on what it is that you truly want with that Seven of Pentacles. Going within, following your intuition, and planting the seeds of your future. Figuring out what it is that you want to work with Spirit um, to manifest. Uh, you know it's going to take some time. You know it's not going to happen overnight, but that's what you truly want. And you're following your intuitive source, your um, inner guide. The person that you are dealing with is the Queen of Cups. So remember, you could be vice versa in this energy. But this is that unconditional love. Not speaking of it, though. 
this person is very intuitive, um, very loving, very nurturing, um, and offering you everything she has. Everything is being laid out on the table. Uh, after one of you leaves, and um, let's get some clarifiers, actually. Why is the Seven of Shields here for Cancer? I do see this as you going back to somebody that you have been with in the past but are not married to. So we'll just put that out right there. Because I am clearly seeing that the Knight of Wands. So you're you're really putting um really putting in your wishes to the universe, wanting to move forward quickly, wanting the um the inconsistency to stop. Because the inconsistency was there due to the energy imbalance. Why is the Queen of Cauldrons there? So you are leaving somebody um, or your person's leaving somebody. So the two of you can be together. That's three knights here. The Pentacles, the Cups, and the Wands. Yeah, so Five of Swords clarifying that Queen of Cups. Your person is the one that has to walk away. They're walking away from somebody. You see that person in the back heartbroken. They're getting a divorce from somebody in their life. So they can come forward and offer this cup to you, um, Cancer. Their heart is for you. Um, or Cancer, if you're the one leaving somebody to go towards someone else, uh, you can be in this energy. It has been hard for them to walk away. But they can't, they can't keep fighting the same battle over and over again. They have to go with their heart. They have to go with where... They truly feel that they would be happiest. And they hate to hurt that other person, but they can't keep doing this anymore. They have to go. I just keep hearing, I have to go. I'm sorry. The energy coming in for you is judgment or rebirth in this uh, deck. Um, this is about renewal, coming together. This is about a reunion. You see spirit in the background. This is a divine partnership that is... Um, being guided by source spirit to um, come back into reconciliation um, the no more of um, feeding more than mouths than you can or than you should the scales of justice are up there in the tree above his head so finally balancing out karma balancing out their energy and no longer um, breadcrumbing anybody successfully moving forward um, together Yeah, after this tower happens. Why Why this outcome? Or why this energy coming in, I mean? Okay. So, uh, Cancer, your person, or whoever the second person is, they're taking action. They're walking away. They're delivering this blow to that other person, whoever this is. Um, and walking away, taking action, following their passion, uh, because they can't keep uh, they can't keep it from happening. Look at the lightning striking the tower out of the blue. It's like it just hits them. I can't keep doing this. I have to follow my heart, even though it is going to break somebody's heart. Um, they have been awoke by source. They've been enlightened, and now they have to move forward in their spiritual truth. And they don't feel the person that they are walking away from matches that vibration. However, the two of you will when they come back. This has taken quite some time to come to fruition. But with the energy of the new moon last night, I do feel you're going to see them a lot quicker than what you had hoped or had thought. Um, in the outcome, this is both these cards are about karma, um, especially justice. This is. Um, the karmic scales are balanced. They had this is their truth. When they walk and talk and live their truth, they stay balanced. Um, so you could be the counterweight to this person, the counterbalance. Um, but they are going to speak their truth, and the scale doesn't have three three things on it. It only has two. So that's why this is successfully coming into balance when they follow their passion. Two sixes are about movement. It's time to release the fear and embrace trust in the balance between the spiritual and the material. And that is what is going on. Why is the justice card here? So when they come at you um, with this offer, 
they will let you know because this did come out in the reverse but i'm showing you in the upright they're going to let you know they're leaving their spouse uh the king and queen of pentacles to me is always a spouse um no matter what sign they are this is ending whoever is married in this third party situation it is coming to an end why is it two of shields here finally balancing out this connection um the two of shields is about allowing change as well so things are about to change for you after this divorce um, happens, wherever that needs to happen at. Where's the two of shields at here? The ten of shields, yep. All right, Cancers, you will successfully win at whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish here. The sevens are all about uh, being spiritually connected. There, once again, your spirit, your army spirit is behind you. Um, your guides, your angels, your protectors are on your side and you will win whatever, wherever you're at in this situation, you are going to be the one that comes out with whatever it is that you're wanting. <coughs> Excuse me. And in the outcome, um, allowing this change, um, this change will bring you in a lot of abundance, successful um, endeavors between the two of you. Um, it's also the ending of one family, so the beginning um, of another situation can start or another relationship. Let's get one more card for the outcome. The Six of Cauldrons. This is a past life soulmate. That's why Spirit and Source is, uh, you know, guiding you in this endeavor. Now I don't know where all those cards went. We got the Six of Cups. Not that one. Rebirth. Well, yeah. But this is a past life soulmate. You see the infinity sign above his head. He's going to let go of whichever person um, he feels is not connected eternally. And this will balance out to um, a, a new beginning with this person after this bond is broken legally with whoever it is married. Yeah, because somebody's holding on far too long to it. But it is coming to an end cancer um you need to focus on what it is that you want though with that moon you need to follow your intuition and let it guide you to where you need to be and uh some secrets may need to be exposed as well as what i just heard but this is going to um turn out to be fair and balanced it's going to be handled in a just manner where everybody um it will come out fairly wow i was saying guardian most definitely your spirit guides and your guardian angels are here for you. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. And I had said that, let's see here, we got the seven of shields, um, judgment or rebirth as they call it. I thought I had one more. <laughs> well, maybe I just thought I seen it. I don't know. But those, see those spirits in the back? This, your intention of having this reunion with this person is spiritually protected. So move forward and speak, walk, and live your truth because you and your loved ones are protected. And it is time for you to step into your role and tap into your inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Allow your inner goddess to come forward. You are protected. Go forth and get what you want, Cancer. It is gonna come for it is gonna come to as a success in your in your um from your view. So okay, holy cow, I'm at 13 minutes. I went way too long. So okay, Cancer, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Check me out on Vimeo. I have a three month um love forecast going out for you guys. It will be up there sometime today. It's not there yet. But I did it right before your reading, so check it out. You will not be disappointed. You guys have some exciting things coming for you, so check it out. Um, I will add it to the link, or I will add the link to this later after it gets uploaded. Um, but it won't be up just yet. So, but it will be up by the end of the day. Check it out. Love you guys. Bye.